the artwork is watching you. What you can discover here are always uh, human bodies. And this, this, uh, Iranian artist Parastu Faruhar shows me her latest work at a studio in Germany. Here, she creates art that challenges the Iranian regime at galleries and exhibitions around the world. This one is uh, called Khavaran, which is a mass grave. We chatted informally in English, but she chose to speak her native Farsi in a wide-ranging interview that covered her recent visit to Iran, the prospects for change in her homeland, and the brutal murder of her parents. بیش از هر چیزی قتلشون این امنیت زندگی رو به صورت کامل از من گرفت و کلنجار با حس ناامنی در دنیا و در واقع یک نوعی از میان زندگی و مرگ رفت و برگشت شد یک Dariush Faruhar and his wife Parvane Eskandari died of multiple stab wounds in their Tehran home in 1998. Soon after the death of her parents, Parastu Faruhar created this installation of documents, photos, and newspaper clippings related to it. The couple had led a small political party opposed to the regime and their deaths came amid a wave of killings of dissidents and intellectuals. بعد از اون هم من هر سال سعی کردم که به ایران برم هر سال برای برپا کردن مراسم بزرگ داشت و یادآوری اون چه که اتفاق افتاده بود برای اینکه آدم‌های جمع بشن و اصرار بکنن بر اینکه فراموش نشه و حقیقت و عدالت خواست ماست. Parastu Faruhar has faced frequent intimidation on her visits and was issued a six-year suspended jail sentence in 2017 after speaking out about her parents' deaths. She has persisted, she says, despite the fear of arrest or of not being allowed to return to Germany. Ahead of her latest visit, she said her fear was indescribable. In September last year, mass protests broke out across Iran, resonating to chants of woman, life, freedom. It followed the death of a 22-year-old Iranian woman, Mahsa Amini, after she was detained by police for allegedly not wearing her hijab properly. Women burned their headscarves in defiance of the regime's strict dress codes, under which women are forbidden to appear bareheaded. Security forces responded with violence. Faruhar says she was hauled in for questioning as soon as she arrived at Tehran airport. Her luggage was searched and items confiscated. But then she was released into the arrivals hall. As Pelebari Kiraftam Poin. به جمعیتی که ایستاده بودند برای استقبال مسافرینشون که نگاه کردم اینجا و اونجا موهای زنان بود این برای من بسیار صحنه جدیدی بود اینکه خیلی به صورت واضح تعداد زیادی از زنان در یک مکان عمومی بدون روسری حضور داشته باشند قانون شکنی بکنند این اولین تصویری بود که من از انقلاب زن زندگی آزادی دیدم. How did you dress when you were walking around in Tehran? من هم مثل خیلی از زنای دیگه روسریم رو همراه خودم می بردم و گاهی اوقات پایین بود گاهی اوقات بالا دلم نمیخواست که به خاطر روسری دستگیرم بکنن <laughs> شاید یک کمی محافظه کاری کردم ولی به هر ساعت اینجا و اونجا بدون روسری بودم 
Many Iranian women have employed a similar strategy as the regime has sought to enforce the dress code. Recently, the authorities announced they would use face recognition cameras to catch women defying it. Meanwhile, more than 500 people have been killed in a state crackdown. But Faruhar says her most recent trip to Iran revealed profound change that the regime was increasingly unable to control. درسته که ممکنه که در شرایط کنونی زورش نرسه به وحشیگری که این حکومت داره میکنه ولی در دراز مدت جامعه چنان تغییر کرده که چنین حکومتی نمیتونه برای دراز مدت بر سر کار بمونه اینها مردن این حکومت مرده است هنوز خودش نمیدونه Faruhar's art is explicitly political, employing powerful images of coercion, control and violence. She's currently working on exhibitions built around these repeated patterns of eyes. It is, she says, about crying and about protesters being blinded by security forces, but also about bearing witness.